Nature is the best teacher in the world. If you step out, you learn things. You just can't help but learn about what's out there. If you learn there's such a thing called gravity when you crash and burn. I think risk is, is really important to, to life. Most of the people I know that are really good people have taken risks. My friend Bobby Kennedy wrote in his book, uh, To Make a Better World, don't go through life unburnished. Go through life and know that there are trials and tribulations and, and a few scars. You know, so you do crash and burn. What the heck? You get up and, and you learn, you've learned something. I know in my book I say, if you're not living a life on the edge, you're taking up too much space. And basically it's not thrill-seeking, but it's just testing yourself. And, and I think people learn the most when they're out of their comfort zone. You know, you gotta have a scar. Yeah, 50 years ago, 50 years ago, half a century, uh, we climbed Everest and, uh, and got to the highest uh, point on the planet. And we'd been up there for two and a half months in, uh, in the death zone where nothing grows. There's not enough oxygen to support life. And so there's nothing growing. So we came down off the mountain into this thick air, walking down the trail. And we're looking around and we see this blade of grass that's coming up out of the tundra, the first green thing we'd seen for a couple of months. We're coming back to where there's life, where, where living things grow. It was so stunning to come back down and it was just a suddenly realization, my God, what a magical planet we live on. SU was just great. When I came back from Everest, there was a parade in town and Father Lemieux said, Jim, you didn't get a letter in basketball because of what you were doing, but we formed a new sport called mountaineering, and here's your letter. So I got a letter for, uh, he said, anyone that climbs Mount Everest qualifies. <laughs> I think I've been so damn lucky to have done what I've done and, and to be here at this uh, time. To have a life well lived, I think, is uh, to give back, to enjoy as much of the planet as you can, to learn as much about yourself. So when you check out, uh, you know pretty much uh, that you've done everything you can to be as good at something, at anything that you can, and to contribute to uh, the longevity of uh, the planet so that your children and their children and their children will be able to enjoy uh, as much as you do this magical and wonderful planet. Throughout my life, I've been drawn forcefully to the outdoors, to forests and mountains sea coasts and oceans, drawn by both a conscious delight in the grandeur and diversity of the planet and an unconscious spiritual yearning to be in the natural world. It is in the wild places, in the damp, clean air of an ancient forest, on a heaving ocean in unpredictable winds, on a snowy summit at the top of the world, that I enter my own personal cathedral and know where I fit in the vastness of creation. Being out on the edge, with everything at risk, is where you learn and grow the most.